sulfuric acid as oxidizing agent that is sulfuric acid decomposes and gives oxygen H2SO4 will give you H2O plus SO2 plus oxygen thus we can say that it is an oxidizing agent it oxidizes non-metals like sulfur and carbon to their respective oxides S plus 2H2SO4 will give you 2H2O plus 3SO2 C plus 2H2SO4 will give you 2H2O plus 2SO2 plus CO2 Sulfuric acid as a dehydrating agent Concentrated sulfuric acid has a great affinity for water. It removes water from many substances. Do you think the color of blue copper sulfate can vanish on adding concentrated sulfuric acid? Let's see, shall we? Take a small amount of blue crystalline copper sulfate pentahydrate and add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. What do you notice? Blue copper sulfate pentahydrate becomes white and hydrous copper sulfate. Sulfuric acid thus removes water of hydration. We can therefore say sulfuric acid absorbs water. That is CuSO4 5H2O plus H2SO4 will give you CuSO4 plus H2SO4 plus 5H2O. Take a pinch of starch and a small piece of cotton cloth in two separate china dishes. Add 1 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid to both the dishes and observe what happens. The substance becomes black. The black mass is carbon. C5H10O5N plus H2SO4 will give you 12C plus H2SO4 plus 5H2O. Removal of hydrogen and oxygen in the form of water leaves behind carbon. Start with a small quantity of sugar in a beaker and spread it into a thin layer at the bottom. Add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the sugar and observe. The sugar soon changes to a swollen mass of spongy carbon with emission of steam. C12H22O11 plus H2SO4 will give you 12C which is charred mass plus H2SO4 plus 11H2O. So far we have discussed the preparation and the properties of sulfuric acid and now we will learn its applications. Sulfuric acid is used in the manufacturing of fertilizers, pigments, storage batteries, detergents and explosives.